Alright, so here I am with a new system with the motherboard MSI Mac X870 Tomahawk Wi-Fi with the latest VIOS uh, version A24 and basically my system is a uh, Ryzen 7 9700X with uh, two DDR5s which are uh, 6000 MHz or uh, um, medium transfers per second, better said. And uh, the problem is that here it says that uh, the RAM is on 4800 mega transfers, while it's supposed to be on Expo 1. And if we go to the advanced, it's not very well showed, shown, but if we go to the advanced tab, we see here that it says speed 6000, but it's contradictory with the with this info here, which says that uh, each of these uh, slots of the DR5 are running at 4800 and not at 6000. But anyways, we're here on the problem with Windows, which. Uh, doesn't allow us to install to get installed after with the um, 24H2 version. So we're just gonna uh, restart actually. To start a USB with the uh, Windows 11 24. H2, which has been created with the uh, Elena, sorry, the Valena Etcher. Also, I tried to do it with the Ventoy and DD tool, everything on Linux. Um, so, yeah, actually, I don't have any access to any Windows computer right now. So, that's all I can do. It is recording a ISO ISO um, image of a Windows 11 24H2, which is released officially by Microsoft in its web page in the X64 bits version. And what it did, what it happens is that we appear to this screen instead of the Windows 11 traditional installer, we come to this strange uh, um, window that uh, brings us to the, to the past of the Windows 98 times where we had to do strange stuff in order to, to install sometimes the operative system. Now it happens again, it's, it's, it's uh, I know, I mean, uh, it's like um, unfortunate travel to the past. And so, after researching a little bit, I saw that it's recommended as a solution in some cases to download the latest drivers from your from your um, brand, your motherboard brand. In my case, is MSI, and just don download the everything basically, like the LAN. Um, at the Ethernet uh, drive drivers, the Wi-Fi, and the Bluetooth drivers, and ev basically everything that you can. So you can bring it to this window and, in some way, let it uh, run so the the system wakes up or something like that. Thing is that this motherboard uh, has the five gigabit uh, Ethernet uh, integrated Ethernet. Um, port and chipset so basically I think that this, this is one of the biggest problems that uh, maybe um, Microsoft is facing with this um, fresh install of, uh, of the latest version of Windows 11 that maybe it doesn't have the, or, uh, the needed drivers for the latest uh, motherboards and rest of hardware I don't know if it's in part uh, due, I mean, um, it's uh, because of uh, installing uh, this ISO from Microsoft, which is uh, from, I mean, from the uh, non-official ISO 
recorder or installer which is for example Valena Etcher as I said or the Ventoy tool or the line Linux uh, DD tool maybe it's working with uh, Windows Media creation but I have seen lots of comments that also people is having troubles with this tool so I'm not quite sure that it's going to solve the problem so basically I want to show you that I have these um, drivers that I download in another USB uh, aside from the Windows USB and here uh, basically are three drivers that I download that I want to show you which are the one from everything from MSI X A70 Tomahawk Wi-Fi official page in the drivers uh, download section so I don't know the one the driver for the Bluetooth which is this one from the Qualcomm manufacturer and the Wi-Fi driver also from Qualcomm same chipset same so and different version and um, then this other one from Realtek and this, this is PC LAN this is for the five gigabyte gigabit sorry um, Ethernet integrated chipset. So yeah, I will just show you that you tried it. You have to look uh, go for this driver, and you will see first of all that there is no Windows 11 folder, just a Windows 10, which it already show um, makes you a little bit, you know frustrated because you're looking also that even in these cases you will not have the proper solution even when this is not the solution i think that the customer should do an end customer for uh, you know installing windows on a new hardware that should be already certified and approved and tried and tested by microsoft but even this workaround you will not have the proper operative system for your drivers anyways we go to Windows 10, just what we have, and choose the 64 bits drivers. And then we choose, uh, we see two, uh, two drivers for the five gigabit family controller. I don't even know if they're the same or not. You barely can, yeah, we can expand this a little bit. Looks that it's, it's the same, but it's even it's even not grouping, Windows is not grouping the different drivers or maybe the same into, into one, but they're showing us as a different driver. Then 